Hi friends, this is Chandan Mohanty. In this video, I will be discussing about various pharmacokinetic and various pharmacodynamic parameters. So this topic is very important in biopharmaceutics and pharmacokinetics. So one by one each point we will discuss. So there are three pharmacokinetic parameters and there are eight pharmacodynamic parameters. So those three pharmacokinetic parameters are Cmax, peak plasma concentration, then Tmax, time of peak plasma concentration, AUC, area under the curve. Then we are having eight pharmacodynamic parameters. Those are MEC, minimum effective concentration, MSC, maximum safe concentration, onset of action, onset time, duration of action, intensity of action, therapeutic range and therapeutic index. So all these points I will discuss one by one with help of a graph. That graph is plotted between plasma drug concentration versus time. So let's go to that graph. Here in this graph, we are having time on x-axis and plasma drug concentration on y-axis. Now if we we'll plot a curve between this time and PDC plasma drug concentration, the graph will look like this. The plot will look like this. First, it will increase to a highest point, then it will decrease. Now question is why like this? Because if you will see here in this graph, left side it is called as absorption phase and right side post absorption phase and then elimination phase. So what will happen in this absorption phase, left side of this curve, rate of absorption is more than the rate of elimination. But here in this right side of this curve, rate of elimination is more than the rate of absorption. So what will happen? Initially, the drug in plasma is zero, but slowly, slowly as the drug will be absorbed, their concentration in plasma, it will increase. Then when there will be starting of drug elimination, slowly, slowly, their plasma drug concentration will be decreasing gradually. So I will tell you with a simple example, think about a water tank. There is an inlet and there is an outlet. So if rate of water coming inside will be more than the rate of water going out, then what will happen? The water level will increase gradually. So same thing is happening here. In left side, rate of absorption is more than the rate of elimination. Hence, the drug level in blood will increase. But in right side, if the rate of water going is more than the rate of water coming, then what will happen? Water level will decrease slowly. So here in right side, rate of elimination is more than the rate of absorption. So what will happen? The drug amount in plasma will decrease slowly. So the graph will be first it will increase to a highest point then it will decrease. Now in this graph I will show you various pharmacokinetic and various pharmacodynamic parameters. As I told there are three pharmacokinetic parameters. Here this is Cmax. Second here it is Tmax. Then this is area under the curve total area AUC this area under this curve is called as AUC or area under the curve. Then we are having eight pharmacodynamic parameters, MEC, minimum effective concentration. Then second, MSC, here this is maximum safe concentration. Then onset of action, onset time, duration of action, intensity of action, therapeutic range and then last one therapeutic index. So one by one we will discuss. These are all pharmacokinetic parameters. First one is Cmax. Cmax means peak plasma concentration. This point is peak plasma concentration. So what is this? This is the highest drug concentration in plasma. Peak plasma concentration. Name itself saying everything. This is the highest plasma drug concentration then how it can be expressed what is its unit it can be expressed in mcg per ml microgram per ml or 
nanogram per ml then what is its significance it will give an indication whether sufficient drug is absorbed into the systemic circulation or not by seeing this mec msc we can tell if the cmax is above mec means sufficiently drug is absorbed so this mec and msc i will come a bit late so first this cmax will give an indication whether sufficiently drug is absorbed or not sufficiently drug is absorbed into the blood circulation or not then tt max time for peak plasma concentration the time corresponding to this cmax it is called as t max so if you will from this cmax if you will draw a line to y axis that point will be t max then how it can be expressed it is expressed in time unit means hours minutes minutes or seconds what is this t max significance what it will imply this will tell about the rate of drug absorption at what rate drug is being absorbed how so t max means time required to reach c max how much time it is requiring suppose one hour or two hour or three hour how much time it is requiring to reach peak plasma concentration now if it is requiring three hours if t max is three hours means the drug requires three hours to reach c max now the, this t max will tell about the rate of drug absorption if t max is less lower the value of t max faster will be the drug absorption i repeat lower the value of t max faster will be the drug absorption i will tell an example suppose two drugs are there drug a its t max is 2 hours drug b its t max is 4 hours means drug a requires 2 hours to reach c max drug b requires 4 hours to reach c max then which drug is fast which drug is rapidly absorbing the answer will be the drug with 2 hours of t max because drug a it requires 2 hours to reach c max within 2 hours c max will be reached but drug b it requires 4 hours so it requires 4 hours to reach c max so lower the value of c max faster will be the drug absorption then last one auc area under the curve total area under this plasma drug concentration versus time is called as area under the curve auc and how it can be expressed it is expressed in microgram per ml into hour means the unit of c max into the unit of t max microgram per ml of c max into hour of t max then how important is this auc this will tell about the extent of drug absorption how much drug is being absorbed higher the area of this auc the more will be the drug absorption so this will tell about the extent of drug absorption these are all pharmacodynamic parameters first one is mec minimum effective concentration the name itself saying everything this is the minimum concentration of a drug in plasma required to produce the pharmacological action see here in this curve this is the line of mec means this much of drug should be there in blood so that the drug will show its drug action below this line there will not be drug action hence here it is written sub therapeutic level here there is there will be drug action so mec stands for minimum effective concentration means minimum amount of drug required so that the drug will be giving its drug action <coughs> now next one is msc maximum safe concentration this is mec this is msc maximum safe concentration what it is implying 
up to this the drug is safe up to this concentration the drug will be safe beyond this level beyond this concentration drug will show toxic effect or drug will show adverse effects so this level is called as msc maximum safe up to this drug is maximum safe beyond that drug is not safe drug will show toxic effects now next onset of action the beginning of pharmacological response is called as onset of action this point is onset of action see below this there will be no drug action because it is below mec level so once the drug in plasma is reaching up to the mec level from that point only drug will start showing its action hence this point is onset of action not below this next onset time the time required for the drug to start pharmacological action is called as onset time how much time it is required for the drug to start its drug action that is called as onset time <clears throat> see here this point is onset time why because from this point if we'll draw a line to the y-axis that point will be onset time means this much of time it is required for the drug to start its action because from this point only the drug will be at the mec level so next point is duration of action this is the time period for which drug concentration is above mec level because i told below mec there will not be any drug action so once the drug level is at mec drug concentration is at mec level from that point only drug action will start now duration of action means the time period for which the drug concentration is above mec level see here from this time there is no drug action because drug concentration is not reached up to the mec from this point only and up to this point drug concentration is above mec here it is below mec here also it is below mec only at this point from this point to at this point the drug concentration is above mec level so this will be called as duration of action <clears throat> next the intensity of action it is the maximum pharmacological response produced by cmax or peak plasma concentration so the maximum response given by cmax or peak plasma concentration is called as intensity of action next therapeutic range the drug concentration between mec and msc is called as therapeutic range because below mec there will not be any drug action above msc drug will show toxic effect so the range between this mec and msc it will be called as therapeutic range in this range only drug will show its action below this subtherapeutic level there will be no drug action above this msc it will be toxic level drug will show toxic effect so this range between msc to msc minimum effective concentration to maximum safe concentration it will be called as therapeutic range then last one therapeutic index the ratio of msc maximum safe concentration to mec minimum effective concentration that ratio will be called as therapeutic index so in this video we have discussed about three pharmacokinetic parameters and eight pharmacodynamic parameters if there are any questions or queries or a doubt please ask me in the comment box i will be replying them hope you have liked my video if yes please press the like button and subscribe to my channel with one more video i will come soon till then take care stay healthy stay safe bye